Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neo and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Thank you so much for always viewing. And if it's your first time here, if it's your first time seeing this face, please do not leave without subscribing. Also hit the little bell so that you're notified each and every time that I post a new video. A while like it's been a while since i did like a proper sit down chit chat video with you guys i love to speak you guys know i love speaking i love speaking anyway guys another thing is um your my og subscribers know that um the thing on this channel has been that i upload a video each and every sunday but lately i've been having quite a lot of time a lot of free time on my hands meaning i have a lot more time to record and upload videos so yeah guys i feel like i should break the uploading once every sunday rule this time you guys will be getting videos maybe twice a week three times a week or whenever i feel like it so yeah i'm definitely gonna change my header and my end screen that says new video every sunday anyway without wasting any more of your time let's get right into this my video year yeah, here in poland and for all these four years i've been studying and i am still studying i've been furthering my education so yeah guys what i'm going to talk about in this video is the harsh realities of living in poland as an international student and mind you guys these are my own experiences these are things that i've seen happen firsthand so please anyway let me not blab too much let's get into the video so the first harsh reality that most international students face i was shocked that i'm not the only one who feels this way actually is loneliness I think many other um, people in the diaspora can relate to this point. It doesn't only have to be true for people living in Poland. So basically, guys, um, in my opinion, if you come from a country where people are so bubbly, if you come from a country that has like open people, people who can talk to strangers randomly, a country where, let's say, if you're wearing a nice dress, someone can come to you in the mall and say, hey, if you come from such a country and you move, to Poland you might feel a bit lonely why is this this is because Polish people are very closed up um, I wouldn't want to label them as rude because I don't want to judge people before knowing their characters but I would definitely say they are closed up people they are not as open as um, um, let's say for example I can only speak based on Botswana because before moving to Poland I grew up basically lived my whole life in Botswana so yes honey of course once in a while you will bump into a bubbly personality somebody who will approach you tell you that they like your hair ask you where you come from here and there but most times Polish people are closed up and you will definitely feel lonely so if you're not someone who's used to being on your own being there for yourself spending time on your own you might suffer just a little bit that's just my opinion and I know you're probably thinking, oh, just go out and make friends. Yes, you will make Polish friends. You will make international friends. Um, even some from the same country as you, the same continent as you. But in my own experience and in my own opinion, coming from the same continent or just both being inter international students, that's not enough to hold up a proper solid friendship. Hope my, po my point makes sense. Further on at this point, I just want to say, um, I honestly do not blame students who fall into doing the wrong things or being caught in the wrong crowds, like um, abusing drugs, going to prison and all of that stuff. I don't blame them because, like I said before, if you're not someone who's strong enough to spend time on your own, be there for yourself and be on your own, you might find yourself in the wrong crowds just because of the fear of being lonely. I hope my point makes sense. I'm not saying doing drugs is okay. I'm not saying committing crimes is okay. But basically what I'm saying is um, I don't blame them. Like some people don't know how to be alone. Some people fear being alone. So they find themselves in the wrong crowd. Anyway, but over and above that point, I also believe that it's totally possible to find long-term friends in university. And yeah, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, it is possible to find good friends out there but this video specifically is about the harsh realities so i'm focusing on the harsh reality the second point ladies and gentlemen is the language i don't know if i should call this a harsh reality i'd rather call it a challenge so in my own experience i just wish that 
before coming to Poland, I should have maybe taken like lang online language classes before coming because here's the thing when most people think of Europe, well, let me not say most people, me, when I think of Europe, even though before coming to Poland, I had traveled to other European countries, I don't know why I was so naive into thinking that English, <laughs> into thinking that English would have been like the main mode of communication in Poland. I guess the, the, like the standard that I had set for Poland was according to what I know about the UK. That's the, I think that's a problem many people coming from Africa to Poland. Like that's one mistake that we all make. Like the standard of Europe that we have is the UK, right? So when I got here, I realized that um, Polish people are rather very patriotic about their language. They speak their language proudly, which is not a bad thing. But of course, it can be a challenge for you as an international student. So yeah, I kind of wish I just like learned the language beforehand i've been here for four years now and yes i can speak like basic things like nazvam sheneo hamaluba yestem studentka mieshkam vevrotswaviu the basic things but when someone else is speaking like proper 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 i don't understand a thing i am lost and if you're watching this and you're an, uh, you're a prospective international student looking to come to poland Try to invest in a language course, an online language course. Um, it will benefit you a lot because yes, in as much as many young people now speak English in Poland, at the end of the day, Polish is the main language. Unlike in countries like where I come from, in Botswana, yes, we speak Setswana, but billboards and stuff are in English, ads on TV are in English. Maybe nowadays is when you'll find like a billboard in Setswana, um, which is our home language, where you'll find maybe a TV ad and they infuse, infuse Setswana in there so yeah it's not like that honey you will need to know the next harsh reality the biggest challenge of being I feel like this is actually the one main challenge that every international student can come and gather here right now and say yes I agree with you Neo guys the immigration process the immigration offices the temporary res residence card processes visa your Quite honest guys, I had like before fully like living in Poland and coming to Poland, I have traveled around other European countries and I must say Poland makes it the most difficult to get a legal stay within their country. Getting a temporary residence card is a process, a process that you need to be mentally prepared for before you go into it. And to be quite honest, it's it's disheartening because as a student you'd expect your process to go a lot easier than other people who are just here let's say um for leisure just you know to do their own thing i'm here as a student i'm here as a responsible citizen from wherever i come from but still getting a temporary residence card is difficult they harden the process it's not easy in most cases you need to hire a lawyer or a consultant to handle your case for you because of how hard it is it's such a challenge you guys when you go to like the immigration offices you get people telling you i'm sorry i don't speak english and they say it in polish though i don't speak english but it's like how are you working in an immigration office and you don't speak english like, isn't your job to handle international people? I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's difficult. I'll be honest. It's difficult. It's one of the things that can really make you regret coming to Poland. It's one of those things that can make you feel very discouraged sometimes. But um, to be honest, what what should keep you going as an inter as an international student is just the reason why you are here. Keep it in mind why you are here. For example, what keeps me going is the fact that I know I, I'm just here to get my degree, get my master's degree, further my education, and it keeps me going, it keeps me motivated, despite how hard it is to legalize your stay in Poland. And another thing that I wish is that I just wish the university could be more open with us as students before applying for this process, because I remember during my first ever orientation in 2017, um, you know, the I think it was the dean of the university, you know, she was talking to us and telling us 
and she just you know she said it so casually like oh you know you apply for your residence card and you get it in about three to six months <laughs> Anyway, that's that on that. You need to be prepared for that. And again, I am not saying that's the case for everybody. I'm just speaking about experiences that I have seen firsthand or things that I have experienced. So let's keep it moving. Number five, guys, is getting a job after graduation. Guys, this is such a harsh reality that I think not only people in Poland can relate to. I think this this goes out to every uni graduate, um, but I'm speaking specifically for Poland because I studied and graduated in Poland. Guys, Lord have mercy, finding a job after graduation is the pit. I feel like while we are studying, they don't prepare us enough for the job hunt. It's almost like after you graduate, your life is already figured out, but the truth is it's not. Guys, you get a job post, sometimes it's even an entry-level job post, but they say you need to have experience. Where should I find experience if you don't hire me? Um, but to be quite honest, the easiest jobs you can get as a student are like English teaching jobs, preschool teaching jobs, factory jobs, um, waitressing, McDonald's jobs, and so on and so forth. But guys, my point is, that's good when you're a student. And I will actually talk about this when I make a video about the things that I love about Poland. Yes, you can get those jobs as a student. But after you graduate, guys, it's normal to want to have a job in your field, right? But it's difficult. I know marketing graduates, law graduates here in Poland who cannot find a job in their field. They are still working as teachers, like teaching English privately here and there. It's difficult, well, at least in my experience. One of the harsh realities of living in Poland is that people choose to be blind to racism. They would rather pretend it doesn't exist than to actually tackle real issues, real things that are happening. Um, once I was vocal about an experience of racism and somebody asked me, don't you think you're bringing an American problem to Poland? And I'm like, what? So y'all are just going to pretend racism doesn't happen here? Like, is that what we're going to do? And yeah, guys, I'll be honest about my own experiences. It doesn't have to be true for you. It doesn't have to be something you agree with, especially Polish nationals are very quick to defend when you speak up about a racist encounter they are quick to defend the situation instead of actually hearing you out you know sometimes you don't even want them to say anything you just need somebody to hear you out and acknowledge your experience but instead you get responses like oh she's just a crazy lady don't mind her uh, you need to understand that they've never seen a black person before, so you need to understand. Um, they don't speak English that well, so you need to understand. But guys, I've been here for four years. I've met old ladies who couldn't even speak English, never seen a black person before, but they were so kind to me. So it's not about the English. That excuse needs to be thrown right out of the window. The whole, oh, it's, she's not being racist. She just doesn't know English. No, I've met families. I remember, I think in first and second year, I had a friend, her family spoke no English, but they welcomed me into their home. They were curious, you know, they just wanted to know more about me. So guys, I just wish um, Polish nationals could stop with the excuses and just acknowledge the fact that there is racism in the country. Racism exists. And honestly, guys, you can't tell me that in this era of magazines, TV, internet, that there's somebody who's never seen a black person. I'd understand if I lived in like a remote village, like deep, deep, deep in the Polish villages. But in a place like Wrocław, I'm sorry, but if I ever get a racist encounter and a Polish national tries to tell me, oh, you need to understand, uh, this person has never seen a black person. No, it's crazy. And I have had racism, racist encounters in the past four years. 
and to be honest i hate talking about it i hate talking about it i simply hate talking about it i'm sure if you're an og subscriber you realize that even on my channel um if you've watched if you've been watching for a long time you realize that i shy away from talking about racism not because it doesn't exist but simply because of the ramifications that come with talking about it the, i've seen other creators who are brave enough to talk about their experiences their comment section gets messy the comments like oh if you don't like it here then go back to your country it really breaks my heart because when polish nationals visit africa let me not say africa let me speak for my country botswana um, when Polish nationals or Europeans in general come to Botswana, they are received with so much love. And guys, I'm speaking from a point of like things I've seen firsthand. I'm not speaking about things I've read in newspapers or seen on YouTube videos firsthand. Yes, after my first year of uni, I traveled to Botswana with one of my friends from university. She was a Polish national and it was all love, overwhelming love everywhere we went and it's just kind of heartbreaking to come and like see the reception that um we get when we come here it's and mind sad. you i'm not saying all polish people are racist i'm just saying that those who are not racist i wish you could own up and accept that racism exists instead of making excuses for those racist people i hope it makes sense and i hope my message is received well Anyway, on a lighter note, on a much lighter note, let's talk about the dating scene here in Poland. <laughs> so guys, dating in Poland, the harsh realities of dating in Poland are simple. It's not easy. I'll be very honest about that. Um, I think many Polish men are still in that state of curiosity when it comes to black women. Instead of viewing you as a human being, their first instinct is to view you as an object. And yeah. So basically I'll say if you're an international student, specifically a black girl, black woman like me, you need to be extra wise. You need to be, you need to keep your your mind very 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 turn it on like your mind must never ever switch off just so you can be able to distinguish between a man who genuinely loves you for you a man who genuinely wants to know about your culture where you come from who you are your character instead of a man who's just interested with you for the mere fact that you're a chocolate mummy the mere fact that you're a black woman you need to be very wise if you find a polish man who's actually into you wants to get to know you for you your character and all of the stuff you better kneel down and thank the lord and then we have our african brothers on the other hand guys i don't know how i can explain it but from my own observation from my own experience i feel like when they come to Europe or to Poland, it's almost like they just broke out of a certain cage, a certain shell. It's like they want to have everything all at once. It's very, it seems very hard for them to settle. They just want a taste of everything all at once. Oh, they will hurt you. They will hurt you. <laughs> You guys can come for me, but these are my own observations and my own experiences. Um, I don't know. It's like, yeah, that's basically all I can say about it. It's difficult to find a decent black man who's willing to settle down here in Europe, here in Poland. Most of the time, it's either they have a girlfriend back home or a wife back home and they come here and they also want to have a girlfriend again but it's like no you can't do that we don't do that you are breaking the hearts of the girls it's not cute <sighs> anyway guys <laughs> at the end of the day i still believe in love i still believe that if there's someone out if there's someone out there for you they will locate you you will locate them love will locate the both of you and 
everything will work out for the better anyway guys those are just seven quick points about the harsh realities of living in poland as an international student everything that i mentioned is based off of my own personal experiences and things that i have observed closely so please do not take it that it could be the same for you we all have different experiences we learn differently we grow differently the best teacher in life is really your own experience and lastly please do not assume that i'm saying that poland is a horrible place it's just that for today's video i chose to focus on the harsh realities i chose to focus on the things that no one ever really wants to to speak about the things that no one will ever tell you especially if you're looking to come here as an international student as a black woman like me um basically i thought i should share the things that i wish i knew before moving here at the tender age of 17 and as time goes on actually today i will definitely film a video about the things that i love about living in poland because like i said just like every place on earth there's a good side and a bad side the positive side and the negative side but just the harsh realities i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'd really love to hear from you especially if you can relate i feel like we need to open more safe spaces for people to be able to talk about their experiences without fear of getting you know what i mean anyway guys please like share comment and do not forget to subscribe see you in the next video yeah, yeah, yeah.